All right, so today we have a challenge to do. We have to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, but you can only use your left hand and I can only use my right hand. And between the two of us, we, we've got to make our sandwich. Are you ready for this? I think, I think we can do it. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Let's go ahead. Ready? Okay. Um, yeah, here, you hold the jar. Okay, okay. hold it tight. <laughs> okay. Nice. nice. All right, uh, should we do that one? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, that one's easier. Yeah, that's easier. Good. A lot good. easier. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, well, let's do you want to do the knife out. or no? I can try. Okay. Um, okay. So, we should yeah. probably do peanut butter first. Yeah, probably. Okay, here. Yeah, hold hold that. Yeah. Oh, oh okay. yeah, don't. Careful where you put that knife. Oh. Get it. Ready? There you go. Okay. okay. Um, mm. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> Put it yeah, together. Yeah, okay. And then um, triangles or rectangles? Triangles always. Yeah, triangles always. That's what I was thinking too. Oh, here, I don't want to cut your finger. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, this is maybe the worst part. Ugh. Oh no, I ripped the bread. Stop it. Okay. Almost. Hey, there we, we go. We did it. One for each of us. Ready? Cheers. Yeah. pretty hard if we each had to do that with one hand, mm -hmm. right? But since we work together, we could make a sandwich. Sometimes following Jesus can be challenging as well. Just like we needed help from each other to help complete this challenge, God gives us someone to help us follow Jesus. God gives us the Holy Spirit. Today's wonder truth is the Holy Spirit gives us strength. Let's check it out. Instead of telling a story, what if I told you about an important letter that someone wrote to talk about a special gift? Red letter. Dear Grandma, for my birthday, I would like a gift certificate to my favorite restaurant, Chocolate Girl. My parents usually just give me everything I want before I even ask for it. What? This letter is a little different. It's written by one of Jesus' disciples, Paul. And he wrote the letter to the people of a church in a place called Ephesus. The letter is full of wonderful advice about how the people should live their lives in ways that honor God. But I'm guessing it's good advice for us too. Oh yeah. Sometimes the outside world thinks Jesus' disciples are weak because they love and pray for their enemies. Paul says that Jesus' disciples are actually really strong because mean people aren't the real enemy. The real enemy is the devil and his sneaky ways. Sneaky? How? The devil tries to mess up our relationship with God by trying to lead us to sin. That's when the gift of the Holy Spirit comes in. -doo -doo. The Holy Spirit. He helps us fight against the devil's lies and temptation. In the letter, Paul says the protection of the Holy Spirit is like a suit of armor. Charge! Awesome! Soldiers wear armor in battle. We put on the armor of God and we can stand strong. The first piece of armor Paul says we should put on is the belt of truth. 
Knowing God's truth helps us recognize the devil's lies. Next, we can put on the breastplate of righteousness. How do you get righteousness? Righteousness just means clean from sin. Everyone on earth has sinned. Except Jesus! And he died so we could be forgiven from our sin. When we accept Jesus, we're so clean. It's like we never, ever, even, ever sinned. Next, we should always be ready to tell others about the awesomeness of Jesus. Just like when we lace up the best shoes to run fast, we need to be prepared to talk about God. So the next piece of the armor of God is the shoes of the gospel of peace. Everyone should get a chance to hear God's story and the opportunity to have a relationship with God. God's story is the best foundation for our lives. Next is the shoes of faith. Ping, ping. It protects us from the devil's attacks. Oh yeah! In battle, our enemy is constantly attacking us. A shield protects us. And Paul says that our shield is our belief and faith in Jesus. Next, Paul talks about the helmet of salvation. Salvation? Like how Jesus forgives us and heals a relationship with God? When we accept salvation through Jesus, he protects our mind when the devil tries to ruin our thoughts. And last, but not least, the sword of the Spirit. Ah, get behind me, Satan! The sword is God's word. The Bible, all the things God has spoken to his people since the beginning of time. Whenever the devil tries to say we're still sinners, even though Jesus has forgiven us, or when he tries to trick us into doing the wrong things, we have the Bible to show us truth and know God. Paul wanted the people in the church of Ephesus and all the people in all the churches to know that through the Holy Spirit, we have the power to resist the devil's tricks. But we have the gift of the Holy Spirit and the armor of God to make us strong. The Holy Spirit gives us strength. Thanks to Him, we're not alone in our fight. Today, we've explored another way that God shows His great love for us by giving us His Holy Spirit. God doesn't want us to feel weak or discouraged when we face struggles, so He gave us His Spirit to help us and to give us strength. Why do you think Paul used the example of putting on armor in his instructions to the church at Ephesus? Paul knew that as followers of Jesus, we would face struggles. And he knew that the people who first read his letter would understand the example of a soldier preparing for battle. So Paul compared how Christians prepare for spiritual battles to how soldiers prepare for physical battles by putting on armor. Like a soldier who is prepared for battle, we can be prepared each day to follow Jesus. Following Jesus isn't always easy, but we can be confident that we aren't alone. God will never leave us, and He's given us His Holy Spirit to help us. We're going to take a few minutes to reflect. As you look at the armor of God, is there one area you maybe need a little extra help? Do you need God to show up to show you how He sees you? Do you need to be more confident and ready to share the gospel, the good news about Jesus? Pray and ask the Holy Spirit to give you strength. It's time for our blessing now, so let's all hold out our hands together like we're receiving a gift from God. May you experience the love of Christ each day, and may you feel the power of the Holy Spirit as you choose to follow Him. Praise God, for the Holy Spirit gives us strength.